finally got the booms attached after modifying the uh, this piece here and even without cables it's holding so I'm happy about that I'm doing away with the hinge design because that definitely didn't pan out how this was supposed to work was I had a hinge here that would allow me to collapse this down while still being secured with cables but uh, as I found out when I do that, it put a lot of weird stress on the hinges themselves. And uh, they'd give up the ghost. It was hard to get them just right where the cables still stay, remain uh, taunt on them. And I was looking at having to entirely redo this uh, the style of hinge I came up with. And actually just build a frame for these, kind of triangular frame of some sort. Just to make what I wanted to do work. I uh, put some thread couplings instead. This is just to start working out uh, some of the details so I can get away with. And after I get the cables on these particular booms, I have another set of pipes just sitting right here. And they're also the same length as these. This is a 12 foot pipe from this union all the way to the end. Remember how I was saying that I uh, dug these up for the price of free? Well, there's a bent up one, but Again, for a little prototype I'm trying to figure out here, I don't think I can go wrong. And uh, where the hinge is, I'm just going to disconnect it and make my cables come off of that. Go all the way up, right on here, and connect it off of that uh, tri big triangular piece right here off each side. And uh, this is actually as wide as a normal vehicle. Just so you get some idea. Right now, this is 33 and a half feet wide, and I'm about to add 24 more feet to that. And uh, I don't know if it'll support it, but uh, we'll give it a go and find out. Got the two cables on now, and then add on the last section. Thought of making this a bit wider, but I thought I'd better test this all out before I get too terribly far with it see how bent up this other side is, but uh, it'd be good enough to test. See those trailers and farm implements in the background, that kind of makes them look uh, pretty small. So we'll go ahead and attach the other cables to the very end, and uh, I'll attach the sprinklers and get her ready to test out with water. Alright, the sprinklers are on. Quite a big machine. Especially when you get a little four-wheeler attached to it. <laughs> this will be the first test. See if I can transport it like this. As chances are you don't want to disassemble something like this if you're uh, having it in the field and you're just switching it to a different set. So uh, let's see what happens. I can squeeze through here too. That's good. It pulls pretty easy. Woo. Now, you see how bad up that is, but I can make it work. Oh, I didn't take that through there, did I? Whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's go with it. Go brakes.
Out of the way! <laughs> about to fire this sucker up. Let's see if this is a failure or keeps putting along. I don't have the cable attached right now. This is mostly to see if it'll fall apart because I don't want to have to reel in all that cable just yet. He's not running at full throttle. I don't know why he did that. It's probably not going to be enough water for it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I see my first issue. Ooh, starting to get water up there. Okay. Sweet. The other one's not working. I wonder if it plugged up. Is that full throttle? Yeah. Why is it not working as good anymore? How do I Those are some pretty big nozzles on there too. They're like half inch nozzles, so that's pretty impressive. That is not working. I think it's plugged. I don't know why these lines had a bunch of schmoo in it, so Let's see if I can get soaking wet here. But that's the gear up there. That's what drives everything to go forward. Yeah, she's plugged. Got water coming out the end. Just plugged. It's just plugged. Got water coming out. If it was a kink, you wouldn't even have that much pressure on the other one. Want me to turn it off? Yeah, I'll have to disconnect it. Neat. Alright, let's see if we can disconnect this. Might have to have them restart so it blows everything out. Oh yeah. Fire it up and we'll flush it real quick. Oh yeah, bunch of garbage came out of that. <laughs> Not enough to make it go though. Oh, that one's still going on for us. Take two. I think I got a ride out. What's nice about these is you can actually undo the nozzle on them. Nice. Well, maybe not yet. <laughs> Looks like I had a rust hole on that. That's okay for now. Still kind of weak on there. Not happy about that. That one might be a kink, but we'll see. That one's doing good, that's why I think there's something going on here. Must still be clogged. And I take that back, I rechecked these nozzles when I was trying to clear that other one. They're actually 12 millimeter nozzles. So, not the biggest I've ran. I got another sprinkler that runs 32. So, but considering how slow this is meant to move, I think they'll be fine. Ultimately, I think this is a success because uh, <laughs> success because uh, it didn't break. That's a hell of a lot of weight all the way out here. Yeah, I got some kinks there. I wish I could do something with that. <laughs> you can even see those up there got a little clogging on them. 
The reason I'm getting so much clogging is all these pipes are buried and I never really rinsed them. I just kind of smacked them around until stuff stopped popping out of them. So I'm going to assume that's what's going on here. And then on top of it, this is sat outside all winter. So. Cool. I can get that sorted out a little later. That's how that one should work. You can see there's just a little bit of overlap where the center would be. Those nozzles actually aren't very big on this turning head. They're only like quarter inch, if that. I'm actually going to make them smaller because they're providing an excess amount of torque, which, you know, you'd think that would be a good thing, but that just means I'm pouring extra water than I need to be. It's just a little Harbor Freight trash pump firing this whole thing right now. Cool.